We are doing CA final SCMP self paced papers MCQ. We are on standard costing. Now ICS language was uh, bad. I think that I've already discussed in one of the MCQs. Now their reasoning has also become worse in this MCQ. Let's look forward for it. The manager who has just implemented GIT system in the company stating that the following point is not responsible for labor efficiency variance. Now labor efficiency variance in any case is what? How many hours workers should have taken for actual output and how many hours they have actually taken for the actual output. So if they complete the work faster, variance is favorable. If they complete the work slower, then the variance is adverse. Let's look at our four options over here. So the first option that is there, poor supervision of the workforce okay then learning curve effect upon the labor efficiency levels okay c using inferior quality of materials and d salary paid to the female employees now i actually don't know from where the d option comes salary paid to female employees i do not know how to answer that also because i don't know am i computing the labor efficiency only for the male employees okay in any case, please think of the correct answer. Okay, first, C. Now, we have to find out that what is not responsible for labor efficiency variance. A, poor supervision. If you do not supervise the workers in a proper way, no, they will work slower only. Their efficiency variance will become adverse. So, A will affect. B, learning curve effect upon the labor will affect the efficiency levels. Of course, it will affect. If the workers will be learning faster, they will become more efficient. So, even B can be a reason for labor efficiency variance. C. Using inferior quality of materials, if you give workers cheaper materials, no, they will work inefficiently or they will take more time to do the production from bad material. That's very obvious. Okay. <clears throat> so, A, B, C can be a reason for labor efficiency variance. D, I am short of words a bit that how to describe D salary paid to female workers actually I cannot be describing also because I do not understand the meaning of it I don't know for whom I'm trying to compute the labor efficiency is it for the males if it is for the males then how will the salary of the females affect like you know the male workers so in any case I don't know how to answer that but A B C cannot be the answer so D has to be the correct answer they should put better words actually or something more sensible which can confuse you so answer should be D sorry answer should be D D is the correct answer.